Hello, and today I'm going to show you how to edit your picture through Bridge and Photoshop. Now, the first thing you want to do is to open Bridge, and I've got my file here on the desktop, so I'm just going to make sure it's selected and go up to this icon here that looks like a shutter, and I'm going to open the picture in Camera Raw. <laughs> so here the picture is opening in RAW and you have a lot of options here to edit the quality of the picture before you go ahead and open it in Photoshop. So usually the first thing I do is to adjust the contrast, see if that's going to help anything. And this one doesn't really see, seem like it will. I'll try and adjust the blacks a little to bring out the detail. And just play around with the different sliders and see what works best. The vibrance and saturation really won't help in this because it's not a color image, but if you want to get rid of some of that sepia tone, you can drag those down. You have different options here up on top, such as a graduated filter, but those are more for different pictures and don't really apply to what we're doing here. So when you're all done getting your different settings in this, you can either open the image here cancel which would get rid of the settings you've changed or you can just click done and it will apply the changes without opening what we want to do is to open the image and that will take that edited image and yeah open it in Photoshop so here it is I'll just close bridge there so here now we're in Photoshop now one of the things I definitely want to do here is to remove this writing that was put on the picture, the Main Street, Mob Rock, Iowa. So to do that, I'm just going to zoom in a little bit so you can see what we're doing. Oh dear. <laughs> Magic Mouse is a co-op. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. This is interesting. <laughs> Okay, now you want to go to your toolbar over on the left hand side of the screen and grab your healing brush tool. The shortcut is J if you have that already on there. Now you have your little brush area that is going to be affected and you hold down the Alt or Option key and you get this little crosshair. And whatever you click on here, say I click up here then that is the area of the picture that it's going to pull from to replace what you're brushing over. I always like to go up and start with replace on an image like this and you can just start brushing in. So it's just replacing your content down here with what is coming up here and you can see that little crosshair as you're moving. It kind of shows you where it's pulling that part of the image from. So you can just move around and sometimes when you get to a different area you might want to put it back to normal and when it's set on normal it just has the software work or think more about what it's doing so it kind of tries to blend it all again or blend it all together a little better. The key here too is to keep selecting new areas as you move across the picture or else it'll kind of get confused about what goes where. There we go again. Okay. So just keep moving across. It's a very powerful tool, the healing brush, so it really does a good job coloring that in. You can see here it, it did mess up a little bit and it just didn't get the detail here. So this is a time where you'd want to go back to replace and that just keeps it from meshing it in and I just kind of fix that a little bit there. Okay. Go back to wide and you can see all that writing is gone. Great. Okay. Zoom out a little more. Now another thing you might want to do is to replace 
the little edge here. You can see the edge of the photograph, and we want to get rid of that because we just want to have the nice, nice clean edge. So you could, if you wanted to keep the same um, file size or same canvas size, just drag the, like we were just doing the healing brush, and drag it across there. But for me, I just want to crop this area. So I went over and grabbed the crop tool. I just click and drag over the image until I get about where I want it to go. And it will snap to the edge, so it's hard. You, there are settings you can set to that, so it won't snap. But So there we go. And then I just hit Enter. And boom. It's all cropped. Okay. So now, say this is the picture that you wanted to get and you're happy with the changes that you've made you can go up to file save or save as and you bring up the uh, save as dialog box you have different formats here down at the bottom you can save it as a photoshop a, a gif a jpeg a tiff a ping lots of different types I'm gonna, a good idea to always save it as a Photoshop if you ever think you're going to be coming back and editing the file later. So I'll go ahead and do that. And there, it's saved as a Photoshop. But now if you want to print the image, you can go back to Save As and choose JPEG as a common file format. And you can rename it here if you want. Say, I want finished um, old picture save as a JPEG click save and here you have some more JPEG options you can adjust the quality just keep it as a maximum and different format options usually don't mess around with that too much here it gives you your file size in case you're wondering click OK and there you go now we have the saved file on the desktop So I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little tutorial of how to edit your pictures in Bridge and Photoshop, and I hope they will uh, um, give you some good tips to use when you're editing your pictures. Thank you for listening, and have a good day. Sponsored by AdamMark2009.com. Oh, yeah.